everybody. Welcome. Why is this on here? I need to get this off of here. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, y'all? Um, I am so excited to be here. I'm just, honestly, it's been so long since I've done a stream, a live stream anywhere. Hi, everybody. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh, my gosh. Are you in New Orleans? People from uh, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube are here. So what is this? I know. I thought Periscope was going away, too. I was like, why is Periscope still an option here? But hi. Hey, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say hello to you guys. I had planned on doing a stream today because a new project of mine just came out. But I do want to tell you guys that my heart goes out to anybody in Texas or Oklahoma or even Louisiana who are, I don't know if you have power. Like, I don't know why I'm talking to you if you have no power. My brother has no power. He had to go to a um, hotel. My mom had no gas, so she has no heat, but she does have electricity. So there you go. Um, but anyway, it's all good. I'm just sending you um, all the best and just hang in there. And I donated to a place that was helping rehome homeless people into hotels. So you can always do a little bit of $5 goes a long way to help people. Um, multiple platforms of this live stream. Exactly. And Galvestrin trying to make it. I know. So anyway, um, negative 31 here, Gnome, Gnome Storm. Where are you from? Some have phones and are charging from their cards. Well, I want to send you all my best. Uh, the reason why I'm streaming right now, I mean, we can just do Q&A too. I'm going to do like 20 minutes. Uh, I did want to tell you guys about a new project I have. It is, okay, look at me as a hot goblin. You guys who play WoW know that the goblins, you know, they're iffy. But look at my short shorts. Look at that. And I've got some steampunk goggles. So I narrate this book. I narrate this book, um, and it's the first non non nonfiction. So the other books I've narrated were my own books. This is the first time I agreed to do an audiobook, and it's because this uh, book is a lit RPG, and I was so intrigued about the whole genre of lit RPG that I was like, yes, and this book is so funny, and the author, Matthew Siege, is a total geek, and this he had to actually rewrite the part for me to read it because it was made for a male protagonist, and he changed it for me. So my love interest, um, uh, he just had to switch everything out. So that's really cool. So I just wanted to let you know, you could get it on Audible. And it's if you if you just sign up, you get a free credit. So I mean, I, I'm not here to support necessarily Audible's business arrangements. But a lot of people do have free credits built up on Audible, or can get them by just signing up for free. So download it because it was one of the funnest things I've ever done. And I will read a little excerpt just so you guys get a sense of what it is. Let me see what you guys are saying though. Eli Colner, what's a good place to live in LA? I don't know who you are, okay? So I don't know you. Do you have kids? You should go to the Valley. Are you super hip? You should go to Highland Park. Do you have no money? Don't come to LA. <laughs> so everybody from upstate New York is saying it's just another Tuesday here at negative 30. Yeah, but people in Texas are not used to it. And I guess the Texas infrastructure is so bad that things are breaking and it's really bad. I made you a Dr. Horrible balloon sculpture. Nate, did, show it to me. What are you doing? Audible is great when I'm lazy. All right, Sarah, listen, I am the definition of lazy. You want to see my butt? This butt, it's twice as big as it was before quarantine. Okay? It's twice as big. Hey, Belgium. Hope you still love good comics and fantasy. Oh, a four. Uh, yes, I do. Um, I don't have an audible code, but I do have a link. I just posted it. Will it let me? Uh, I do have a link. Wow. It will not let me post this link. Alicia, stop. Oh, it's Rocket Soup. It's one of my mods. Um, oh, yeah, I posted it. I posted it. So I just posted it. It's geniusruleofcool.com. Genie us. I should put it in the banner, right? Uh, let me, let me, let me put that in here. There. That kind of, I mean, it doesn't help me. I'm just, I, listen, they paid me no matter what I could, I could phone it in, but I actually really like this project. So I want people to, um, that's a nice, but thank you. You know, I'm just inviting a justification. Don't be skeevy about it. 
but it's anyway. New Orleans is here. We shut down. So you guys don't have um, Mardi Gras? Did you have to? Uh, did you have to shut the floats down? Mm. What program am I using for streaming? I'm using a program called Streamlabs. I, I mean, uh, uh, Streamyard. <laughs> StreamYard, and it's a monthly fee, although you can use it for free if you want to remove the watermark, you pay a little bit. And I really like it because you can stream to multiple platforms and you have all these banners here. I can I can play you um, all, you can brand it, which is really nice. I can Hey, let me, let me do that. Creepy. Why did all of you leave? Like 40 people left. God, are you kidding? Anyway, it's. Uh, I'm going to read you a little excerpt. Just got it on Audible. Oh, that's awesome. Audible plus dyslexia means we can read as quickly as everybody else. Marat, you're totally right. Um, I'm so awesome. Can we be friends? I mean, I'm friendly. <laughs> they closed the quarter? No way. I just signed up and love your newsletter. Thank you for your podcast too. Yes, I'm doing Undressing Bridgerton, which is the Bridgerton podcast. So me and Tom are recording that tomorrow. I have a felicitation that I'm recording for next week because I'll be on vacation next week. I'm going up to um, Lake Tahoe area. I'm just doing a little vacation road trip that, to be safe because I just need to get out of my house. And I have my newsletter coming out on Thursday. You can get that. Oh, I didn't know I was going to be promoting other things, but you can do that at... Um, felicitations.substack.com. It's, there you go. Felicitations.substack.com. There you go. Do that. And then I'm going to do this one. Oh, look, I can really stack this up. Look what the last one I was. I have vote, 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 which is like, do we do that anymore? Ah, uh, remember those times. Okay, so I'm going to read a little excerpt so you get a sense of what this book is like, Okay because I didn't know what lit RPG was. Hey, Chuck Fisher, Chuck Fisher, Chuck. Are you talking about Chuck who was a percussion major at UT Austin? Huh? Well, hey, Chuck. I know a lot of girls who had a crush on you and I know somebody who dated you for a while. I don't know if you, I don't know when you broke up or if you did. Is this awkward? I shouldn't bring it up. Anyway, no power or water. Finally, something worth what? Jeremy, I'm so sorry. I had to cancel my RPG today because Arcadum, my D&D &D DM on Twitch, he has no power and we haven't heard from him. So yeah, I'll take away the Substack thing because that really isn't what I was here to um, promote. But you know what I'm here to promote? Okay. That music really is obnoxious. Okay, so let me read you an excerpt. So Lit RPG is this, this. I mean, it's very popular and I think it's gonna become more popular. It's basically a book, but it's written as if the characters are RPG characters. So I play this character named Raze, who is a, I have a credit on Audible, see, it's free. Um, aw, Luke, I'm so sorry. If, if anybody watched me pass away on any TV show, I wanna apologize for that. So, hey, Ricardo, thank you for being here. Um, when are you going to stream yourself playing Fairy Tale Adventure? I would love a port. I think it's not available, but I would love that. It's lit. How's your day going? Um, it's pretty good. I'm excited to have something that I worked on come out because this has been a year of a lot of video game streaming, but not a lot of productivity. And I'm trying to get my ass in gear. Can you just raise your hand if you've been kind of a slack slacker the last year as far as creativity? I know. Yeah, I don't, uh, thank you so much for the cameo. Oh, that's, you're welcome. Okay, so a long power outage is when I finally read the first Harry Potter book. See, Gary, you're making lemon out of lemonade. Just don't freeze through that while you do it. Okay, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little excerpt. So basically this, this, uh, this RPG lit is basically where you are a character in, so the, the main character or, a character in the book is actually an RPG per, uh, character. So they have stats. So here's an example. So I play Ray's and I am this Gearblin, which is essentially a goblin in this world. And I work at this arcade named, um, 
I work at this arcade now named Ill Gotten Games. There's so many nerdy puns in this, it's ridiculous. Um, and well, I'll just read you the first paragraph. Aside from being one of the few places in Hallow where you could turn in quests and slake your thirst at the same time, Ill Gotten Games happened to be the crappiest arcade in town. Unfortunately, it was also the only one. So, um, so basically, I work at this thing, and basically, um, hero characters, which would be player characters, but it's kind of nebulous whether um, these people are in the real world or not. Sometimes, um, I play an NPC in there, and I take people's turn in qu quest turn ins. So I have this little altercation with a hunter who, believe me, oh, thank you so much, John Green is a fellow nerd with platforms on YouTube. Oh yeah, I would love to do a collab with John Green. Are you kidding? Um, Let's see. So, so basically I'm here and this jerky hunter is there not understanding how this world works. And so I'm basically like, okay, I pointed at the cluster of rat tails hanging from his belt. Those are for me, right? Are they? Only if you're here to turn in the temple quest Adrius accosted with you, you with on your way into town. He frowned and I watched his eyes glaze over as he mentally consulted his internal list of objectives. I could see he was overwhelmed by all the new tasks and skills and errands he'd been forced to keep track of since his arrival. It was a little like watching a roach attempt long division, and I felt a flicker of empathy awaken before I had the chance to smother it in the cradle. Look, I told him, if you're sorting by completed, it should be up near the top. Dummy. <laughs> that was me. I can't see it, he said, panicked. His cluelessness was making the line of protagonists even more irritable behind him, which meant way more trouble for me than him. That put me in the awkward position of career counselor, a job I was even worse at than quest giver. Relax, it'll be there. The significant fraternity always names their quest something hoity-toity. The rat tails are the first in their initiation line, Vermin Sermon. Quit your drivel for a minute while I look, he demanded. Oh, there it is. I do all the voices, by the way. I think you mean thank you, but whatever. Hero or not, his attack on me was almost comically slow. I saw the backhand coming up from a mile and a half away. Eh, not that it mattered. Trying to dodge would only embarrass me. At least I had plenty of time to brace myself before the blow caught me hard across the face. Damage, one. Damage type, physical, bludgeoning, resistance, not applicable. Ongoing effect, know thy place. This blow was intentionally delivered with the back of the hand. The giver's vigilance standing amongst heroes who witnessed the attack has increased by five. The receiver's social checks made in opposition to the giver suffer a 10% penalty throughout the rest of the encounter, through, though, though your status as a non-participating citizen removes your ability to engage in social checks with heroes. Hit point loss one. Hit points remaining four. I think I read a little bit slower than that when I actually do the thing. Anyway, so... I read all the stats. So when an encounter happens, I am, and I do that weird little voice. Hello, this is my announcer voice and I'm going to tell you the stats. There you go. So that's how the book works. And it's a whole book, it's a novel. So it's like four, I don't know, four hours worth of me talking and I do all the voices and I don't try to do any accents. Some people will be happy about that. Some people will be sad because they can't laugh at me. But anyway, watch, watching the guild right now, uh, alguien habla, alguien habla español un poco? Yo hablo un poco español. Yo entiendo. Más español? I don't know. Come to Hawaii. Give me a private jet. Oh, snap, it's out. It has caught my interest. Well, Mr. Mad Maldi, I'm missing your voice. Yeah, uh, so basically, this is the first... I have not agreed to do a audiobook. I've been asked quite a bit, but I always said no because basically I didn't want to be taken not seriously. So this one is so funny and I had such fun and there's so many jokes with it. I was like, oh, it's jokey enough. I can have fun with it because being serious is not my specialty. Um, yes, we're doing D&D &D with the Guild on Sunday. And is there a sequel planned? Uh, it depends on how popular this one is. I'd love to read another one. I introduced my 16-year-old uh, to the guild last weekend. He really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love it. Now, the guild has been on Netflix for a couple of years exclusively. They've decided not to renew it because, you know, they drop a lot of things and pick them up. And um, so it will be back on YouTube in small sections um, after March 1st. So I'm a little sad about it, 
But at the same time, you know, life goes on. It's an old, old show. And being on Netflix is a privilege. So I will be putting it back on YouTube for everybody to um, to uh, enjoy. I love that you're a big gamer like your character in Supernatural. I know. I love – if you guys don't watch me on Twitch, I – I uh, are you doing any conventions this year? I am doing – one in Stockholm, I believe, in November. And I just signed one for this country, but I don't know if it's going to happen. It's in September. And if it's not safe, I'm not going to go, but I'm actually excited if it does go. I've never found you in something I didn't love. I got the book as soon as, aw, thank you, Morgan. It really is fun, I promise. So on Sunday night at 7, we're going to be doing another Legends of Ra uh, uh, yeah, Ragnarok. And we're going to finish that arc. And it's not for babies, okay? It's a lot of NSSFW stuff. Your voice is perfect for Guild. Oh, thank you so much. I will have to watch the Guild on Netflix till it's moved. Well, yeah, you can. And if you get, you don't have to buy the DVDs because I will put them all for free, the episodes back to back online again on YouTube. But if you want to get lots of extras, have the scripts, lots of um, fun videos and watch them all in a movie, you could just get the DVD. They have the whole compilation set for pretty cheap on Amazon. I do, I stream with the guild every Sunday night on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Felicia Day. And we do Among Us sometimes, we do Clue, but usually the last Sunday of every month we do D&D, but this month is a little bit different. Um, so we did a, like a three episode arc with Ivan Van Norman with his new Kickstarter RPG uh, system. Um, so it's really funny and we have amazing, oh, what's your Twitch? Let me put it on. I'll put a little banner on twitch.tv slash Felicia Day. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, twitch.tv slash Felicia Day. I'm actually going to go over there after this to do, I don't know, like an hour of streaming and then talk about this book and read the same excerpt. I'll try to read the different excerpt. Does anybody have um, any questions about the book, how it was to narrate an audible, audible book? Do you upload your campaign to, on YouTube? Yes, all it's on the guild. It's not my own personal. My personal playthroughs go to my personal channel. Thank you for my mods for helping me export them and make all the thumbnails. If they didn't do it, it would never get exported. And for the guild, um, I make them live on Watch the Guild. So youtube.com slash watch the guild. Um, since Netflix drops it, so I don't know how I would get it licensed to Prime. It would be awesome. Generally, like old shows like mine don't get licensed to many places, although Roku, <laughs> maybe Roku because it's real old. I mean, I would love for it to be anywhere, um, but, you know, I don't know who. I don't really have any people to handle that right now. I, I'm the creative people. Any, have you heard of Lit RPG before this? No, Sean, I had not. And diving into that world has been so fascinating. I'm actually going to be doing a panel with a bunch of Lit RPG people on my Twitch channel March 1st. So I'll post about it. And I think the author of this and then a couple of other authors are going to be to just talking about the genre and where you can find other examples of it. Um, question, did you re record the book in your home sound booth? If yes, how it go? Palior, it was way before I recorded this in October or maybe September. So this wasn't, this wasn't set up until last month. So no, I didn't, but I, I definitely would love to try it out. What's the new audio book about? Well, let me show you, Ashley. It is about. So I play an NPC, um, Gearblin, which is basically a goblin, in this fictional game universe. And it's all about how I sort of go on my own hero's journey as sort of a put, upon, put upon NPC fighting against the heroes. Basically, I live in this world where there's going to be this huge, MM, it's kind of like an MMO event, um, but basically I'm part of the NPCs and we start fight, fighting back. So there's this huge mech battle and there's lots of really cool characters. I could do all the voices and it's very, very fun. All right, let's see. I had the entire run of the guild on DVD. It got me through recuper recuperation for major surgery. Oh, Ellen, that means so much to me. Um... I totally missed oh, this live because I had to drop my kid off at school. Beth, where's your kid going? It's 2 o'clock. Or what? I mean, you could be like overseas. Sorry about that. Is Robert Bevan going to be one of the authors? I don't know the lineup. I know there's a um, one of them is a woman. Uh, I specifically asked to do like a, a range of representation because I do want to show everybody that. Oh, hey, Podium. 
Podium Audio is the producer of this, and I want to thank them for this opportunity. It was so fun to record it. I love this genre, and just know that there's if, if you ever want me to be... I love that 80s sort of, it looks like, it sounds like a, a song that you get in like, um, at like a Sesame Street or like a Nick, a Nickelodeon show where like kids are trying to like be cool and they're trying to do like a breakdance move from the early 80s or something. You see those like vintage, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, it is similar to the Magic Tavern po podcast. Um, I think if you like Magic Tavern, you would really like this. It's It's a book, but... I get to read all my stats all the time, which I think is really fun. And I use a different voice for that, as I demonstrated earlier. And I uh, I really think you guys are going to like it. Use your Audible credits. Do you think you'd write your own novel? It is on the agenda. I have a book proposal that I'm finishing right now. And I have another one that I have to finish this year. Um, let's see. What else? Besides Bridgerton, what do you want? Okay. The Great Pottery Show Throwdown is amazing. It's only six episodes. It's on HBO Max. It is basically British baking show for pottery. Also blown away, the second season of the glass blowing competition is now on Netflix. And I'm really enjoying WandaVision. This last episode was amazing. So I basically all oh, love you from Egypt too. I love I wouldn't I want to go to Egypt so much. Me and my baby who is now four years old, you guys. I have a four year old. How does that work? Um my baby loves Egypt, and we were, we're, we're exploring a lot of Egyptian mythology and um, watching a lot of National Geographic specials on the Valley of the Kings and things like that. It's my dream to visit, so I would love, I would love it. Here we go. Lit RPG is role-playing game for literature. Think of an MMO or a game of D&D &D written as a book. Thank you, Stephen. That is so much more articulate than I ever put it together. <laughs> Great Pottery Throwdown is a well-named show. It's true. And I didn't know a lot of things about pottery. I don't want to be a potter, but I, I'm fascinated by it. Congratulations on the book launch. Can't wait to check it out. Thank you, Andrew. Like I said, the author, Matthew Siege, actually rewrote the whole thing um, for me so that I could play the lead because, um, yeah, he really likes me. I'm a baby. Lee, stop being young. <laughs> or your baby is 22. Loving your hair. My daughter is laughing because those are the three shows we watched. I, I mean, I don't know what else to watch. I don't, that is my comfort food. I, I stopped watching um, House Hunters because I'm just like, either get out of the house or, you know, do something about it. Cause you're really getting this sort of, I wish I was not here. Um, it's pancake day. And my four-year-old daughter had her pancake with tomato ketchup. You know, my daughter, she drinks Here's the thing that I hate. She uses a straw to drink gravy and leftover cereal milk. And if you guys know me, you know, I think cereal milk is the most disgusting thing ever. She also gives me the crust and the peel of her apples and she wants me to eat it. And her apple peel is warm after she's eaten the insides. And I want to throw up every time I eat it, but I do it for her anyway. So anyway, good night from Brazil. Bye. I've been watching since season one of The Guild. Well, EJ, you are uh, an old school fan. Um, I really appreciate it. The Repair Shop on... What is The Repair Shop? What is The Repair Shop? Tell me more, John Roby. Good to see you, too. Um, we met in Vegas. Well, that's awesome. I can't wait to go out and actually meet people in person, although I'm a little scared. What are we going to do? How are we going to take a picture together? Watch, um, anyway, leftover cereal milk is the best. Stephen Miller, you're dead to me, okay? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, thank you so much. I would love to do another Dr. Horrible. Where can I find your audiobook? Um, you can find the audiobook that I just narrated um, at Audible. There is a URL there, genius slash rule of cool. And... I'm really enjoying Nancy Drew. Okay, here's a story about Yakumo. I just saw that that uh, I used. Okay, I was at Comic Con last year. Oh no, two years ago. <gasps> oh God. So I was at Comic Con two years ago, and I was doing the Great Debate with Sci-Fi, and I was in the back 
you know, hallways where all the stars have to walk to get to their big, big panels. And Nancy Drew, it had, it had not come out yet, but she was walking toward me. And I remember looking at her and thinking, oh my God, what a beautiful girl. I wish I was tall and looked like that. And she looked at me and she went, oh my God, it's Felicia Day. And she was like, ah, can I hug you? And she came over and gave me the biggest hug. And she said, I love you so much. My D&D group adores you. This is my biggest fangirl moment. I've ever had. And so you guys can watch Nancy Drew with satisfaction that she's a geek and she's awesome and she has really good taste. Okay. Will I be a resident alien? No. Why didn't Alan call me? All right. Um, I need to do repair shop. What is repair shop? What is repair shop? What is repair shop? What is repair shop? What is this? Stop saying it over and over. Just look it up. Um, Countless heirlooms and treasured antiques around Britain line storage, and the men and women of Repair Shop are eager to return them to their former glory. Expert blacksmiths, horologists, carpenters, upholsters, and more pool their talents. <gasps> yes. Yes. Have I ever watched Riverdale? Yes, I have, but I know some of the actors in person, so it, it gets awkward when I'm watching that show. Um, who, who's your favorite author? I don't know. I don't, I can't say that I have a favorite author because there's so many things I love. I love Jacqueline Carey. I'll always read something by her. I don't know. Congratulations on the book performance. I'm taking a break from reading after defending my dissertation, but I've become addicted to well-acted audiobooks. Yes. Well, Sonia, I definitely um, am excited. This is the first time I've done, and I've turned him down the past because I know that it's so difficult and I didn't know how difficult it was because it's days and days of recording. And you don't want to get backed up too much, but I have a tendency to talk too fast anyway. And you have to pick up every time that um, you have to do this thing where they play your line that you just recorded and you have to sort of glide into it. I forget the uh, official name for it, but it's really, really interesting. And it was such, um, it was so different from doing voiceover for cartoons because you don't have that many voiceover lines in cartoons and you only go in for half, a, half an hour. I was there for like eight hours a day for seven days just to get, well, I think it took five days for me to do it because I was really good. But <laughs> anyway, so I'm really excited about it. And also, I mean, okay. Anyway, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, uh, to sleep in the sea of stars was the last can I be your fan favorite for the next two seconds? Austin, you're my favorite. You're done. Are you playing any MMOs now? We are playing Rust a lot. So I have a whole server on called Nerd Gumbo. And if you go to Twitch and search Nerd Gumbo, you will find a lot of people playing on that server. I might do a little playing tonight. Um, but, um, and I'm also going to start Valheim on Wednesday. So tomorrow from 1 to 4, I'm doing a Valheim stream. So if you guys want to come watch. Um, let's see. Thanks for spending time with us. I know, this was really fun. When are you announcing that you're doing the Not Doctor Who? Well, since that's a British show and I think they legally have to hire British people for the leads, I can never say that. Does the sound bite come with a book? This one? I'm sure you could download it. It just feels like an 80s kids show. <laughs> I was at one of your panels with Will Wheaton at ECCC. I love that convention. You guys, right now, uh, you make me want to be a gamer. Well, Courtney, just try it out. There's a lot of really good entry-level things. You just have to figure out what kind of gamer you are. Are you a slow play kind of person? Do you want to do strategy? Do you want to do like house flipper where you get to decorate a house? I think they just came out with an HDTV plugin, and I need it so much. Um Bought it. Just can't. Oh, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate it. Hi, Felicia. I'm new to the channel. I found it from your Red Red Redemption. Well, I'm really sorry I was so bad at that game, but welcome. And I do a lot of Twitch streaming if you want to see me live. So I might go over there and do like an hour live in a minute. So just to like talk about this, but also just play something for an hour. <laughs> but I will be streaming tomorrow from one to four. And the guild will be streaming from 10 to, uh, 7 to 10 on, for, on Sunday. So do you have any convention plans? Um, you know, it's not safe. So I have, I'm doing a New Zealand panel. I think it's just for the panel. 
uh, the New Zealand Comic Con on March 5th. I'm doing Stockholm theoretically in person in November, I think. And then I signed on to do one in the States that isn't announced in September, but I just don't know if that's going to be safe to do. And I guess we'll see. Hey, Memphis, please go live on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to go over there right now. So pre-order the, ah, thank you so much, Sean. I really hope you appreciate it. It is, um, it is honestly, a, it was really fun to do. And I really hope I get the opportunity to read other books like it because it's, it's something that I would read anyway. And me reading it was kind of like, it scratched that performance itch because last year I didn't have any acting jobs. Well, I did. I did Supernatural in March. So it's been a year since I had an acting job almost. Um, I'm downloading Twitch just because of you and I love to game, but I play PS4. Um, you know, you can play, you can watch Twitch on your phone. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, I don't remember when the voice actors Felicia Day that I too, oh, I was on Annoying Orange. You're totally right. I did like a ginger root. And I did page two. Uh, hi, for Ireland. Oh, this is awesome. Well, you guys, uh, check out the link right there. And I'm going to go over to Twitch in a minute. And I might see you there. If not, thank you so much for liking my work. And I will continue to keep doing things that are cool. Hopefully you like them. And that's it. Um, You've been a huge inspiration to me. Thank you for always being so wonderful, inspiring girls to be themselves and embrace their nerdy sides. Silver Veil, Silver Veil, Silver Veil, my favorite Twitch streamer is you. You're so beautiful. Check out Silver Veil too, okay? Silver Veil on Twitch. All right, you guys. Bye. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you over on Twitch, okay? Bye. <laughs>